What if everything we thought we knew about the universe is wrong? The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye in the sky, may have just uncovered a clue that rewrites the entire story of our cosmic origins. In its latest observations, Webb may have stumbled onto one of the most profound mysteries of our time, a signal, subtle yet impossible to ignore, that hints at the very structure of our universe being far stranger than we ever imagined. It began with a surprising discovery. Astronomer Lior Shamir was studying over 260 galaxies using data from the James Webb Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey. But what he noticed wasn't just another distant galaxy or ancient star. He found a pattern, a bias, a cosmic preference. Roughly two-thirds of the earliest galaxies he observed appear to spin in the same direction, clockwise. Only one-third rotated counterclockwise. In a universe that, according to modern cosmology, should be isotropic and homogeneous, that's a problem. The cosmological principle tells us that on a grand scale, the universe should look the same in every direction. But this, this suggests something more, something intentional. Could the universe itself have been born spinning? This radical idea leads us to one of the most mind-bending hypotheses in modern physics, black hole cosmology. What if every black hole is the seed of a new universe? And what if our universe, the one we're living in right now, exists inside a black hole that formed in another, older cosmos? The theory, known as Schwarzschild cosmology, has been around for decades. But thanks to Webb, it's now gaining new life. It proposes that instead of collapsing into an infinitely dense point, matter inside a black hole rebounds in a violent expansion, a bounce, forming a new universe sealed off by the black hole's event horizon. The theorist behind much of this renewed interest, physicist Nico Poplowski, believes this could explain not only the observed galaxy rotation imbalance, but also the very birth of our universe. If true, this means the Big Bang might not be the beginning, but merely a transitional phase, a ripple from a previous universe's collapse. Still, some scientists urge caution. Could this rotation anomaly simply be an observational illusion? Perhaps we've misjudged the rotation of our own Milky Way, causing a subtle distortion in how we perceive other galaxies. If so, it might not be a cosmic signal at all, but a mirror of our own miscalculations. And yet, the anomalies keep piling up. The James Webb Telescope has been peering into the earliest epochs of the universe, and what it's seeing has stunned astronomers. Galaxies that are too large, too mature, too structured, appearing only 300 million years after the supposed Big Bang. These galaxies shouldn't exist, not yet. Take, for example, Jade's GS Z14-0 and Z14-1, galaxies that may have formed when the universe was only 2% of its current age. Or Sears 1019, a galaxy with an unexpectedly massive black hole at its center, far earlier than any existing model predicts. And then there's HD1, a candidate galaxy at a redshift of nearly 20. If confirmed, that would place it just 168 million years after the Big Bang. It's enormous, it's bright, and it shouldn't exist. Some researchers have begun to ask a question once dismissed as science fiction. Could we be seeing the remnants of previous universes? A concept known as the cyclic universe theory is gaining traction. Proposed by thinkers like Roger Penrose, this theory suggests our universe is one in a never-ending loop, eternally expanding, collapsing, and being reborn. The black holes we see today? They might be relics from a universe that came before. And if that's true, it could mean that some of these monstrous black holes in the early cosmos aren't anomalies at all. They're fossils, proof that the cosmos has died and lived before. Meanwhile, 
Another puzzle continues to haunt cosmologists, the Hubble tension. Two methods of measuring the universe's expansion rate, one using distant supernovae and the other analyzing the cosmic microwave background, yield conflicting results. Instead of resolving this mystery, the James Webb Telescope has made it worse, far worse. Now, scientists are referring to it as a crisis in cosmology. Are we witnessing the breakdown of the standard model, the very framework of modern physics? As the data pours in, one thing is clear. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just showing us beautiful images of the early universe. It's tearing open our assumptions. Galaxies forming impossibly fast, black holes emerging from nowhere, and now, galactic spins all favoring one direction. Are we living in the aftermath of a spinning black hole from a larger universe? Or are these just echoes, coincidences in a chaotic cosmic dance? One thing is certain, the more we learn, the less we seem to understand. And yet, with every strange discovery, Webb pushes us closer to answers, or perhaps to deeper mysteries. This is not just a revolution in astronomy, it's a challenge to everything we know. So now we ask you, what if the universe isn't what we think it is? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay on the edge of this cosmic journey, don't forget to subscribe. Because this is just the beginning.